Come in weather channel. What's the forecast? Fair skies. Not a cloud in sight. Pool side. Same under control. How's the perimeter? All secure. Come out and do a few laps every day. Keeps the health in good shape. It's very refreshing. Yeah, well, yes indeed. Private yeah. as well. Yours? No, not at all. Sorry, do I know you? We're having a private conversation, so if you don't mind, why are you just sitting there? <laughs> Can anyone in this classroom distinguish between protectors and assassins? Because I'm having a hard time. If this wasn't a simulation, I'd be handing in my resignation about now. There. Where in the manual does it tell you to hold a gun to the head of the man you are supposed to be protecting? Are you bodyguards? Or are you kidnappers? You're supposed to be using your heads. Chang, how about letting the rest of us in on what you were thinking? Sir, one of the lessons that you taught us was to, under certain circumstances, you must be prepared to die to protect the life of the subject. I realized I was prepared to die. Um. There's more to being a bodyguard than just being fast or prepared to die. In the end, your decisiveness saved your man's life. But you didn't earn his trust, and that's something you are going to have to learn. Thank you, sir. What about the objective? Will I be going with the others? <laughs> I think we'll be able to find a place for you. But I have another assignment for you, a short one in Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Mm hmm Doing what? That is James Shong, chairman of the Tai Fung Group, a corporation that brings in millions in foreign money. You are going to be protecting that man's girlfriend. On the evening of May 27th, a man was strangled to death at the Clearwater Bay Yacht Club. The victim was Lu Kin Chu, an elderly accountant. The suspect in the murder is Chu Kwak Man, the reputed boss of the Liang mob. The police believe the motive is related to a case which the CAC is working on, involving $100 million in drugs and money laundering. Michelle Young, 24-year-old, witnessed the murder while driving. There were two additional witnesses, a sailor, Kan Tai Kung, 28, and a security guard, Chung Tong Ming, age 51. 
Two days after the murder, Chan Tai Kung died in an unexplained elevator accident. Ah! On the same evening, Chung Tong Ming was blown to bits by an unknown bomber. On June 1st, as Michelle Young prepared her bath, she discovered it had been rigged to electrocute her. She escaped injury and is now the sole surviving witness to the accountant's murder. Please be seated. Miss Young, this is Sergeant Lau. He's going to be in charge of the investigation. Not bad. Hey, Ken, come over here. What's the matter? I got to go get a bet down. Wait a minute. Trust me, he's number two to win. No way. Number four is the favorite. Forget about it. Trust me. Why the hell should I? Yeah. Miss Young, here's your tea. Yeah, I made it myself. I appreciate it. Most women as attractive as you are afraid to testify. <laughs> what does that have to do with it? I was a witness. <laughs> All righty then. Miss Young, do you recognize any of these men? Are you aware of all of the dangers that are involved in identifying an accused murderer? Mr. Shang says, pick number one. I see. Tell James I'm a big girl with my own mind. Understand? But if you're scared, then I think you should go. It's not me that I'm worried you. about. That guy, number two. James had no right to send you. Miss Young, do you think the other two witnesses died accidentally? They were eliminated by Gregory Chu. I wish you would reconsider testifying. Hey. Hello, Miss Young. Well, I heard you had an electrical problem. Perhaps you should take care. I see. Thanks so much. Bye now. I could arrest you right here on the street. Hey, on what charge? I haven't made up my mind. Then... Bye. Goodbye. Who won? The favorite. We won some money then. How I much? I on your horse. Oh, 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 why do you listen to me? <clears throat> His name is John Cheng. He's been trained in Beijing to be a member of an elite corps of bodyguards called the Defenders. They're the finest in the world. I want nothing but the best for you. I don't need a bodyguard. Why can't you come be here with me? You're all I need. Come on, Michelle. If I could change things, you know I'd be there already. Only it's impossible this time. We've been through this so many times. Yep, you've made it very clear. See you later. Hey, wait! Wait! Wait a minute! Oh, that was so stupid of me. God. Oh, what a place. This guy Shang's got it made. You know, he brought in one of those big-time Red Army bodyguards. Supposed to show us how to do our jobs, apparently. Ha! <laughs> so what? Maybe you and me. We'll have to show them how to have a good time. <laughs> Capitalists and communists. Hand in hand. Hey, what's this? A parade? Huh? Sergeant, this man says not to worry. He's taking over. Uh, 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 hello. Charlie Lau. Lieutenant Chang. John. One of the defenders. Uh, listen, John, um, that army uniform you're wearing makes me kind of jumpy. I'm in the army. Oh, and I'm in the Hong Kong police, last time I checked. ID. What? Did I hear you right? Right. Well, let me see yours then. Let me show you mine also. No one asked about yours. Put it away now. I, I got one. You know. Hey. Oh. You're John Chang, right? Pleased to meet you. David Lai. Shall we? Yes. Mr. Shang left $200,000. You may use as much as you need to protect her. Thank you. Please sign. That's an awful lot of money. He must be pretty good. Well, he looks out for half the world's population, while you and I only have a few hundred cooks in Hong Kong to worry about. 
Hey, uh, Mr. Shang say anything about me? Oh, yeah. What'd he say? Don't touch the money. <laughs> you tell him not to worry. Don't do that. I didn't hear you ask permission to go through my personal things. I'm sorry. It's my job. What job? I don't even know who you are. But I know who you are. Michelle Young, youngest daughter of a magistrate. You had a private school education. Harvard, Sorbonne. You enjoy going out shopping. Yes. Tell me, am I supposed to be impressed? My responsibility is to protect you. Let me be honest. You seem too young, too eager. Must be your first time. <laughs> something funny, and I'll put a slug in your brain. Hey, I didn't mean that. I was only fooling. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Hey, you can't keep putting metal cans into the microwave. It exploded. <gasps> Michelle, <sighs> sis, are you all right? <sighs> you okay, Miss Young? What? Leave him alone. It was empty. What? There's no way. Like the man said, it was empty. <laughs> Billy, <laughs> did you take Charlie's bullets? I only took them out so I could see how a gun's supposed to work. Children shouldn't be playing with weapons. Sorry. Would you like some water? Thanks so much. Don't drink it. No water or anything else until I tell you it's safe. Only what you tell me? Yes. That's... Crazy. Hey, I'm calling James. Turn this thing over. Sergeant Lau, how many people have access to this house other than the staff and family? Know. Let's count them. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Wait, wait, let me start over. Take your time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's your severance pay. He won't be needing you. It's okay. Thanks, Sergeant. Oh, you better go thank the man in charge. Uh, tell you what, call me anytime. I'm sure you'll be hearing from me. Go on. Comrade Chang, would you mind explaining to me why we've just liberated our entire security force? The fewer people allowed around Miss Young, the better I like it. Well, according to Chairman Mao, the masses have boundless power. You paid off the masses. Hey, now, I'm not asking you for money. Protecting Miss Young is my job. Don't try to buy me out. I have as much integrity as you do. I was just kidding. Come on. Please, don't get too close to her, Sergeant. Now that guy, he's a real professional, right? That's one hell of a professional, that guy. But I'm one hell of a professional, too. Watch me. Kapow, 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 pow, pow. Hey, I just shot you full of holes. Why don't you fall down? There's never any bullets in your gun. Uh, Miss Young? My bedroom's off limits, soldier. I need to make a security check right now. I'm not opening the door. What? We'll change it. Get out of this room or I'll call the police. I've already given them a call. You what? Miss Young, you must always keep your blinds closed. Why? You can't do this to me. That window needs bars on it. And keep this light off. There. Now hold on. This is my room and wait. I want you out of it. Now! Just wait. No, I won't wait. I want some privacy. This valve for the water, it should be replaced. When are you gonna get out of here? I wanna change! You can't take those things. They're mine. 
Bring them back. Do you hear me? Oh, oh damn it! Use this. I don't want this junk. I want you out of here. Well, let me have some privacy. Your privacy is not really my concern. I'm here for your safety. In Beijing, do you put cameras in women's bedrooms? Only the ones I'm asked to protect. You. <sighs> All done. I'm giving you an electronic amulet. You must always wear it. Press the stone to signal me. Not bad. That's impressive. That's what I keep telling you. I'm the one with all the talent, the real bodyguard. Let's see him try to do that. Oh! That was just oh. incredible. Impossible. Big deal. There's nothing impossible about it at all. You just throw the dart and the board catches itself. Hey, Mr. Chang, I'm Michelle's brother. What's up? I'll give you $50 for a kung fu lesson. Wow, I've got something. First edition Dragon Ball cards. It's worth at least 100. Mr. Shang gave it to me for my birthday. Wow, he's such an awesome guy. Charlie? Why are you sitting in my car? I was told to by your hotshot professional bodyguard. Who the hell does he think he is? I don't believe this. <sighs> This is a nice ride. Ready? Let's have some fun, Mr. Bodyguard. A rocket, huh? Come in, Charlie. Do you read me? Take the old tunnel, it's safer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. I'll stay close. Uh, the old tunnel? Slick move. Give me a little warning next time, okay? Trouble behind you. You read me? Michelle, he's after your car. Take care of my back. I'm on it. This guy isn't that bright. You don't look like my sister. You scared? Are you kidding me? Come on, watch me now.
Hold it. You ready to die? It was an accident. Yeah? How about if I accidentally shoot you right here? No, no. You left there in a pretty big hurry. I thought you could handle it. My only job here is taking care of the girl. Well, you take your job too seriously. You should learn how to relax a little bit. A cop can screw up and still keep his job. A bodyguard always has his mission. If he fails, he's not really a bodyguard, is he? I've sent for the headmaster. It's only for two weeks. Yes, it's just a leave of absence. He's made me a prisoner in this place. They gave me two weeks to leave from the school because of him. He sent my hairstylist home. I wanted to work out, so he bought all this stuff from me. James, I can't stand him anymore. I want him to give me some peace. Keep calm, Michelle. Put Chang on. Bodyguard. Sir? Uh, John, can you try and ease up on Michelle? Why would I ease up? If I'm going to successfully protect Miss Young, I want to restrict the scope of her activities. It's not much longer. I just want to be absolutely sure she's safe. But if you're not happy with what I'm doing, I'll just walk away. Forget the contract. No, I'm happy, John. I want you to stay. Michelle is impossible sometimes, isn't she? It isn't easy being protected. It often is very stressful. I'm sure she'll be all right. Let me have Michelle. He wants to talk to you. So, is he leaving? No, actually, I, uh, well, I warned him. Now, Michelle, how's this sound? If John doesn't ease up by tomorrow, you tell me. I'll get you someone else. Yes, all right. Wait. What time will I see you tomorrow? Tomorrow? We talked about it. Tomorrow? I'm going to be shopping for your present. Something nice. What? You spend all of your time away. I have a house full of presents. I ah, wish you were here with me. But you have a birthday coming up. So you think about it. You listen. Do you think you can just buy me, James? <gasps> It's okay. Too much. Come on, five, go, damn number it. six, go! go. Pow, pow, pow! Go, 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 go. Go. Oh, you're a rotten nag. Let's see what we got. What? Seven to one? If you'd oh, listen to me, oh. you would have made some money. <laughs> you bet my money on your horse, right? Yeah. I can't believe it, you fat uh, fool! I want my money! How am I supposed to get your money? What? I bet it with mine! You bet all my money on your horses? Yeah. Pay it back! You know I can't do that. All my money goes to my son's education. Every last cent. Why'd you do this to me? Uh, Let me look at my bank account. I never should have bet. So much money on a horse like that. Yeah, what? Huh? I know it's late. You'll have your money before the semester's over. More than half. Yes, yes, I have it, but it's in my wife's name. And it's being invested, and wisely, I might add.
sorry, sorry. I touched it by mistake. <laughs> but Michelle! Okay, I'll get out. She's got a bodyguard from Beijing. We can't get near her. Too many excuses. I want to hear some options. Well, we're working on it. Thursday is my court day. I want you to close this up. Billy, you ready? I got you something. Look at that. It's a model of my oh, gun. Oh, gosh. Same as mine. Oh, okay. Boy. Who needs a ball? Where are you going, Miss Young? I... I have to go somewhere. I'll come with you. All right. Just what do you think you're doing? Do you really think that Ken will protect you? It's my mother, see? Since my father died, she's all alone. She just wants to see me. It's not a crime for me to see my mom, is it? You're too dressed up for that. Your friends invited you to a birthday party. One Maryville Road. You monitor my calls. You're always listening to every word I say. I have to have my privacy. Nobody, not even you, can take away my freedom. Not even my boyfriend. You're lucky to have him around. You know why? Because otherwise, you'd be dead. And you should know it. You bastard! Let me tell you something that hurt. All of you are just leeches. If it wasn't for Mr. Shang's fortune, would you be protected? Maybe. Not by you. That's right. Hey, anybody as pretty as you is bound to have a rich boyfriend. Shut up! <clears throat> you shut up! If I'm pretty, is that my fault? I can't help it if this is what I was born with. I love being attractive. I do. And I love having all these things. Is that wrong? I'm tired of everyone passing judgment on me. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Young. Here, take this. You made me cry. It won't happen again. Miss Young, after you testify in court, my work here with you will be done. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll see you again another time. I seriously doubt it. All right, let's get things moving, huh? All right. Come on, Billy, let's go. Why is it you're always creeping around? The case will have to be delayed. Gregory Chu has gastroenteritis. He checked into a hospital. <sighs> my God. James. It's been delayed. Indefinitely. I'm dying. Maybe a month. It's his fault for all of this. That means I'll miss the mission. I'm hoping he's going to let us get out of here. I really need to go shopping without John Chang. OK, if that's what you want. locked up forever. Just want to shop all day. Me too. And play video games. Michelle! Wait. 
I bought extra. So how about eating some? Here, Michelle. Safe. Come on, Billy. Over here. <laughs> well, you're the bodyguard. Do now. you think this one is pretty? You shouldn't be here. This place is too crowded. I thought you guys were protecting me. We are. It's just that this place is kind of crowded. Don't worry. We've got it under control. What's that? It's possible it came from upstairs. Billy, don't you think I know that? Just checking. Hey, Michelle, I'm going to the video arcade. Okay? All right. Wins and prizes. Hey, you take her. I'll take him. For sure. I'll take her. so tough. I can show you a real police pistol. Stop no. lying. Miss Young, now it's empty. Uh, sorry. I never knew what to say on an elevator. Uh -huh. Huh. Uh. Race one, number seven. Race seven, number one. No, not race one, number one. Race seven, number one. And race one, number seven. God, what could be simpler? Do I have to repeat it all again? Billy! You dropped your gun. It was on the ground. See? Put this right back where it belongs. Thanks a lot. <laughs> the first race started... See this? It's a 38 police revolver. Who can we bump off? Tell me about it. It's not a real police pistol. That's right. Let's try it out. Don't move. Wait, don't shoot that. It's a loaded gun. Come on. You know it's a toy. No. Paul, Paul. Hey, shoot me. Come on, come on. Holly, Holly, don't do it. Hey, I'm not scared. It's Are my gun. Shooting? Now come hold on, still. Come on. Luke. Don't, Polly. Please stop. Ah! What stop that. Hey. Give me that. What'd you get say? On, it's man. a real gun. What'd what you say? Right there. Take care of getting rid of the body.
your pistol! Why are you crying? I'm sorry. What for? For taking the gun? Or for something else? I once knew a boy named Yi Tung who studied at the Shaolin Temple. He was given a new master when he was nine. The master would forgive whatever he did, no matter how severe. As long as Yi Tung would say, I'm sorry, instead of any kind of punishment, the master would just ask Yi Tung to say he was sorry. It didn't matter what he'd done. Yi Tung got very good at saying he was sorry. One day, he was playing with some lighted candles in the Temple of the Shining Waters. He dropped a candle, and the next thing he knew, there was a fire burning out of control. He ran just as far as he possibly could until something made him stop. He returned, hoping he would have a chance to apologize to the teacher. He was sure that saying those words would redeem him. There was no opportunity to say those words. The fire made sure of that. The master died in the flaming temple. The boy stopped saying, I'm sorry. Hold on, John Chang, or should I say, Yi Tang. Just as the boy learned how to stop saying those words, some of us need to learn how to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> to remove the bodies. It's against the law. No, 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 wait. Take this to buy your silence. Thank you. 
Brother, are you all right? I think so. Brother, you took my bullet. The one that was meant for me. As long as I live on this earth, nothing will ever harm you. I will protect you. ceremonial fires. He's paying you to kill that woman, and you haven't succeeded. This is your last... Oh! My brother is Don't. dead. No, please. Don't talk to me about fires, or about choose oh. money. Oh. Now you listen. Before this is over, she'll be dead. <laughs> and you, you could be dead also, as well as your boss. Oh. <laughs> The wounds are very strange. The victims all died from a loss of blood. I don't know what kind of weapon caused this. It's a Red Army bayonet. The three edges cause rapid blood loss. Thank you, Doctor. Don't mention it. They killed these guys to get to the corpse. But why? I really don't know. Anyway, thanks for taking him out. He would have killed me. Is your arm all right? Yeah, it hurts a little bit, but not as much as dying would have. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you again. Do you know this man? I'm warning you, Mr. Chu, you better answer. Wait, don't threaten my client. He has the right not to answer, and you know it. All right, then. You'll be sorry. I think he's retired Red Army. The Assassin Squad, right. Let me know when you find anything out, okay? His name is Car Kwok. His brother's body was stolen from the morgue. He's the one that almost killed Charlie. Here's something to keep us going. Do you think you'll catch him? Yeah, we will. We'll catch him, no matter what! Thanks. You're soaking wet. You really shouldn't be up here. I just want to thank you for protecting me. I was assigned to you. Yeah, I know I've given you a lot of trouble. But do you think we could start over? I mean, what else do bodyguards do? Tell me about your girlfriend. There's nobody to tell you about. Ah, uh, that can't be. Tell me about your family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Did you get straight A's? Don't ask me. Ah, uh, that's privileged information. Top secret. Pretty good hand. For uh, some things. Keep holding on to me. You wouldn't want me to fall, would you? I might get wet. I like walking in the rain. Don't you? It's him. What's wrong? What is he doing? Charlie! Follow me!
just a matter of time. Bulletproof windows throughout the house. I'm telling you, this has got me jumpy. Is it that important? Yeah, it is important. The assassin knows this house, and he knows us. I told Ken to stay alert. Hey, you know, tomorrow is Michelle's birthday. How about if we surprise her? We should have a party. Thank you. It's safe, right? <laughs> oh, I got you something. Here, look. Uh, what do you think? I like it. Hello? It's me. I think I found a new bodyguard. Wait a second. John. Um, it's James. He asked me if I want a new bodyguard. Look, let's just keep this one. Bye. Uh, wait. Good night. Good night. Happy birthday! Thank you. Everything is just perfect. You know what would make it perfect? She loves flowers on her birthday. But once you cut a flower, what happens to it? It loses its life. Hey, it's her birthday. Make a wish. All right. Happy birthday. Go ahead. Thanks. I love roses. I hope you like the color. They're a bunch of lifeless bodies now. At least John says so. <laughs> I, uh, I'll put you in the locker, okay? <laughs> Freeze! Uh, what? They're only flowers. Right. Huh? From Mr. Sean, um, right? Okay. All right. Sorry. Okay. okay, I'm clean already. Jeez. Flowers from Mr. Sean. Here, give them to me. Makes your flowers look kind of puny. <laughs> Who asked you? Hello. Happy birthday. Thanks for the flowers. How about dinner at the Fond du Lac? The Fond du Lac? When? Tonight. Won't that be difficult? Not for me. I came in from Beijing to take you out. I'm in the driveway. You're where? Out front? Wait. You better not be teasing me, James. Look out the window. Oh, hi, James. Why don't you wear something, something nice? All right, I will. I'll meet you in 20 minutes. Bye. Mr. Shang, when did you make the reservation? Yesterday. Does anyone know you're having dinner here with Miss Young? You don't trust me? <sighs> That's not what he meant. John's just making sure I'm not in any danger. And you seem to understand each other pretty well. Cheers. Wait, please, drink some first. Mm-hmm. And sure. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's safe. Excuse me. You take no chances? No. He's very, very good. He doesn't make mistakes? No. Never. If you did, well then. You couldn't be a bodyguard anymore. So now you're an expert. <laughs> Madame Mousseau? Yes. Thank you. The chef does a wonderful Chilean sea bass. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. How about the salmon? Take another look. Michelle? Yes, it's too much for me. You decide. So how was your dinner? It was nice. Thank you very much. Champagne? No, really. I need to use the ladies' room. Boyfriend's a real gentleman. Yes, he is. Thank you. I'm finished. Can we go home? Please, Billy. Don't be rude to James. Oops. Maybe it's not Billy's kind of restaurant. Michelle, I have to go back to Beijing tonight. I can't drive you. That's fine. I'm coming home on Friday. Okay. John, you're just about to come to the end of your mission. Thank you for guarding Michelle. My pleasure. Good night.
where are you going? Making the rounds? What are you doing? Surprise. Really? For me? Let me help you. It's automatic, totally reliable, like you. Ah, it's perfect. Perfect. Good night. Uh, yes, good night. I won't see you once this is over. You probably won't. <laughs> you never know. Good night. Good night. Michelle, what happened? I, uh, touched the button by mistake. It's all right. John? I have something to tell you. I know it's wrong. But I love you. Does that mean you don't want to kiss me? Me? Uh... I don't know what I want. What's the matter? Nothing. Why? Sure, John. You've been eating all night. When something's bothering me, I smoke like a fiend. What's bothering you? Ah, uh, it's just money problems. My son has a chance to study medicine in the U.S., but I can't afford to send him there. I even gambled some of Ken's money away trying to raise the cash. Hey. Can you make any dough working as a bodyguard? Looks like it. I thought you were happy being a cop. <laughs> With more money, I would be. So why'd you join? 
I wanted to be a big hero, so I joined the force. During my first year, I interrupted a bank robbery in progress, rescued four hostages, and shot the robber. So you did become a hero, right? Yeah, damn right. They even gave me a medal. It was when I first met my wife. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this. That was when we were still together, before I screwed things up. Oh, boy. I spent so much time trying to live up to my reputation that I didn't have time for her. And she found someone who did? Yeah, she sure did. Some guy with a corner office started buying her things, you know. <laughs> How am I supposed to compete with that? On my salary? I thought maybe she was just looking for a little attention. So I said to her, it's him or me. She chose the corner office. Why couldn't you talk to her? That's my point. That women like to be talked to. I was too busy being the quiet hero. Which reminds me. You're up the same tree. You know opportunity. It disappears before you can ever stop it. How many chances do you suppose men like us are going to get to be happy? All the kung fu in the world isn't going to help when it comes to women. Well, all I can say is you've got to take your shot. Otherwise, you'll regret it. What about my responsibilities? Sure. It would be nice. <laughs> I bet it would be much better than that. But don't try, and you'll never know. Hey, it's her. She's calling you. <laughs> no. The pager. Get stuck. <laughs> You're the one who's stuck, and you know it. So please, go talk to that girl right now. This time, you're the one that's gonna die. So get ready.
Forget it, Ken. You know I can't do that. Come on, it's for your son. If I could, I'd bet it myself. That's very good of you, Ken. No. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, I stole a picture of you the other day. Could you sign it for me? How about, how about signing it with a kiss? <laughs> oh. 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 No! Ken! Come on out, you cowards! filling with gas. The windows are all bulletproof and the doors are locked. One shot and we're all dead. That doesn't scare me. Ready, bodyguard? For me, the battle is always on. <laughs> the battle? Is that what you think this is? This is your Execution. And yours as well. Huh? You killed my best friend. Your best friend? What are you talking about? He killed my brother! For that, you're going to suffer. Long. And then you're going to die. Say goodbye! Come on, pal. Let's do it. Oh, <laughs> 
Chell. <coughs> Please let her go. Whatever she's paying you, I'll triple it. <coughs> you get away from her. Over there. Get going! <coughs> he shot my brother seven times. Oh, yeah. Now it's going to be my turn to shoot. Seven times. I have millions. How much will it take? I'm afraid your offer's no good. It's meaningless. Unless you want to pay someone to take the first bullet for her. Come on. Take the bullet. Save the girl yourself. Then she'll love you forever. Wait. What do you think about that, huh? There you go. I knew you'd do it. Michelle. John. It's almost over. Mr. Shang, John Chang was trained to take a bullet. You ducked because that's the natural instinct. There's no reason for you to feel guilty. This is from Comrade Chang to Sergeant Lau. Step on it, okay? We're going to be late. You could get authorization for Chang to stay in Hong Kong. With all your money, you could pull the strings. Charlie, this is just between you and me. It's for your son's education. No more gambling, okay? No more gambling. Stop right there. Wait! I have a permit. Talk to the bodyguard. I have written authorization for Mr. Chang to remain in Hong Kong. Mr. Chang wishes to return to Beijing. He left you this. He's not coming back. 